Alonzo almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Zach Wheeler. What do we need to know here? Leading off Anytime you have five pitches to work with on the mound, that repertoire can be a real weapon in terms of keeping hitters off balance, man. It's, it's one of those things that I'm going to be looking for in this one. Does he have a feel for all of those pitches, or is he just able to get one or two over in the strike zone where he wants? Now, it's tough to do to be able to command all those pitches, but if he can, he is going to be very tough for the opponent today. And there's a ball. He's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Fights that one away, still one and two. A line to kick the pitch. Foul ball still, a one and two count. High fly ball lifted in the air right field. Brings it in with a nice run and grab. One up, one down. Let's take a peek at the Mets line up here. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt oh, his boy. rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, Get it moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pitch. You better not miss it. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know, if you don't get to guys like this, a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever okay. if they do at all. That one not close. And now it's three and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Good battle here, about to be the eighth pitch of the at-bat. On the ground, right side, stop. The throw to first, that was a strong at-bat, even though he couldn't find a way on base. And now it's Mark Vientos. Outside low, and that's ball one. Wheeler, 33 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2009. Right side, Harper. He takes it himself oh. to the bag, and that'll do it. And we're back. Today's starting pitcher, Jose Quintana. What do you got on him, Chris? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit. Oh, that drilled him. And they get the out after the ricochet. Definitely some concern here. That, that ball came back and got him right on the pitching arm. As you can see him trying to shake it off. And if nothing else, you worry about him getting some dead arm and losing some feeling. But from what I can tell, I think they're going to let him continue. And that's a really good sign. Trey Turner at the plate. And there's a foul ball. One out, base is empty. The shortstop takes the ball. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Out to short. Lindor on the first. And a couple of quick outs. Bryce Harper to the plate. Harper. And it's fouled away. Two out spaces empty. Hit in the air, center field. Nimmo sizing this one up. He makes the grab, and that is that. 
All set for the start of the inning. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. And the pitch is in for a strike. And it's a 1 1. Since debuting in 2019, no player in the majors has hit more homers than Pete Alonso. Ball one low. Really good take, especially with two strikes. And the pitch. And a foul ball. He stays alive. And a one-two. Good job to fight that one off. The one-two. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. Five foul balls in a row. I have no idea what that feels like, but you got to love this battle. Just wondering who's going to blink first. Here's a one two. Spoils the two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Righty delivers. Swings and misses. Struck him out. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Jesse Winker in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Next pitch is downstairs. Last couple of pitches breaking balls away. I think he's going to have to come firm inside to be able to open up that location if he wants to go back there later in this count. No score here in the second. Swing and a miss struck him out. J.D. Martinez stands in. J.D. Martinez. That one catches the zone. It's 0-1. All tied up here at the top of the second. Headed towards the corner. Castellanos moves on it. And that is that. Three up, three down. Bottom of the inning. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. The right field. The line of the pitch. And a foul ball. Quintana, a former All-Star. He features a sinker, a four-seamer, a changeup, a curve, and occasionally mixes in the slur. Just missed one with ball, that backdoor break. breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at bat. Sneaks through, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. This is Bryson Stott. We talked about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times the ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And there's one away. JT Real Muto steps in. Check swing. He went too far, and it's a strike. Oh, and one. And that's a little bit high, and it's one and one. Ricky Holiday, our umpire behind the dish, known as pretty fair umpire for both hitters and pitchers. Yeah, I think that's right, Boo. There is a little inconsistency on the corners of the plate. You can't always be sure how it's going to go with those borderline pitches as the game progresses. 
finds its way through base hit. Nimmo quickly gets it back in. Runner holds it second, but they've got something going on here. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get in the air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. The timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. Bunting for a hit. And that's a bunt single. That was placed perfectly. Well, Singy, that was really nice looking. Able to get it down and in a good spot. And he makes it look easy. Bat angle was perfect. Barrel stayed above the hands. Could almost walk to first. Weston Wilson stands in for the Phillies. Golden opportunity right here. And that one is lifted in the air. Marte moves under it. Makes the grab. Run attacks from third. And now the runner will score from third in the wild throw. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass to the baseball. Johan Rojas, the next to hit. Swing and a foul straight back. Real Muto at second. March at first. Two out of the inning. Hit. Rounds third, headed for the plate. He scores, and they lead by two. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. So the lineup flips over. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. And that one fouled off. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Hit hard, that gets through. In comes the run from third, and they're up by three. Throw in holds that trail runner at third base. They're at the corners with two away. Back-to-back -back base hits. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch, just shot it through the infield. Trey Turner now grounded out his first time. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. And now the lefty. Ripped to right, base hit. The relay throw. Tag out. Try to scramble back. Too aggressive with the turn at first, and that's the inning. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Back here in Philadelphia, new inning getting started. Here's Starling Marte. Outside low, ball one. The other way. He's there. He's got it. And there's one away. Here's the second baseman. Down the right field line and a base hit. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. Castellanos whips it back in. And they hold him at second. Maybe this is going to be the moment they start to come back. Waste no time there. He really shot that one down the right field line and somehow found a way to keep it from slicing foul. One thing that was great about the approach, his head was down all the way through the pitch, and that's how you do it. Francisco Alvarez in the box now. No balls and a strike. On the ground. Stop. Throws the first in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball the out of the air. The Let's the defense shot. work behind him with Francisco. another ground ball. Good execution. So the batting order turns over. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Aye. That's in there. Going one. And yeah, that ball, skips into dirt. The Mets down by four. We're here in the top half of inning number three. 
And he hits a ground ball right side. He takes it himself it. to the bag, and that'll do it. Mets leave. Back at Citizens Bank Park, ready to go for the last half of the inning. And now for the Phillies, Bryce Harper. Harper. Been a rough start on the mound for this guy. His third inning is so important for him to get on track, turn the page, settle in, do all those things you need to do to give your team a little bit of length in this one. You know, these Phils doing a good job at the plate with runners on base, and that can be a key difference maker in the game. They've been delivering when it matters most, batting over 750 with runners in scoring position so far. It's been impressive to watch. Sends it to first, and a quick out number one. Here's Nicholas Castellanos. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. That's out to center field. Sizes this one up. And puts the squeeze on that one. Two down. The batter, number five. Second baseman. Two outs, base is empty. Now it's the second baseman, Bryson Stock. a laser base hit around first digging for two throws to second and he's out cut down and that ends the inning as we go to the top of the fourth here's Brandon Nimmo close but called the ball ball one well these Mets just lacking discipline at the plate in this ball game so many of their outs have come from weak contact ball on two. pitches they're chasing outside of the strike zone ball, you no can't strike. do much of anything with those locations and that's been true again today next hey. offering is in for a strike and as a pitcher when the hitters are swinging at everything you feel no need to challenge inside the zone you just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone <laughs> and beyond and they just keep eating right out of your hand Comes a 2-2. And they'll do it again. The wind of the pitch. Stays alive. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Fights it off, you'll see another. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. And the righty deals. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. The pitch. On the ground to third. Rolls across oh. the diamond. He didn't make things easy for him there, but they still get the out. Line to right, and that'll be a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either, and... He's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced, so I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Hey. Alonzo, batting with one down, takes a strike. And hey. that's in there at the knees. Righty to the plate. Foul ball still 0-2. Vientos at first, one gone. There's a swing and a drive. Forget it! He flexes his power with that swing, and they throw a pair on the board. It's 4-2. They needed that one, Singy. Indeed they did. They've been fighting to get back into this game, and just like that, they're back in it. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news, and... All of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Here's Jesse Winker. Swing and a high fly ball to left. And there's two down. 
Two outs, base is empty. J.D. Martinez up now for the Mets. Pitch misses, and that is ball one. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. And another ball. After giving up that home run earlier, it just doesn't seem like he wants to challenge him. Next pitch is outside. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. The 3 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Kicks and deals. Battling here as he fouls it away. Eighth pitch of the at bat coming up. Right down on strikes. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Mets had two runs on this blast. It's now 4-2. Back here in Philadelphia, John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, JT Real Muto. Hard hit, but right at him and left. Sometimes you want to be aggressive early in the at bat. He was right there. Hard line out. First pitch of the inning. No reward, but hey, you got to keep swinging it. Out to short. Lindor. Slings it across. Oh. And a couple of quick outs. It's now important. Right. I think go one, two, three here will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Weston Wilson getting ready to hit. On the corner at the knees for a strike. Oh one. Back to him with the breaking ball. Just got the corner. There's nothing you can really do with that. Yeah. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. No ball, two strikes. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. The pitch. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Winker should have it. Makes the catch in and over. Ready now for the fifth inning. Starling Marte up to him. Strike to the outside corner. And it's 0-1. Well, these Mets, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. That's a hit. So a man on base to start the inning. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Here's the second baseman. Doubled his first time up. Just missed. That that's misses the zone. Two. Yeah, that's ball two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Tying run at the plate. And a foul ball. Makes the count two and one. At the belt and fires. And a big swing and a miss. Two ball, two strike. And a base hit right there. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. So the tying run at second. That one's in there. And a count is 0-2. and misses it's a strikeout he's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field he was out in front there just needs to let the ball travel a little more and his timing will be back on track good pitch for the strikeout 
Back to the top of the Mets order. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Nope. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Well, all eyes on the double play ball in this spot. No better way to get out of this inning. That's ball two. In the dirt. Nice job behind the plate there. Next yeah. offering is in for a strike. With the go-ahead run at the plate. And we're at the top of the fifth. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Two on, one out. On the ground, right side. Stop. Off balance feed. Oh. There's one. Well, that's great hustle out of the box to get down the line, knowing that a double play will end the inning. Good job at the finish, reaching out for the bag. Now they got runners on the corners and still an opportunity to pick up some runs. Nimmo hey. in the box now. Take strike one. And that is the ball game. Whether you're a season ticket holder or you just come to a couple of games a year, to see your team win at home, there's just something special about that. Good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans. And your final, 4-2. The Phillies hang on to win it. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Shopey saying so long.